chalo muno abantu bale chula elo kuchula bale chula abantu takufise meyo bonse na tumona especially mwe mwe ma media houses na mumona abantu of bale chula sometime back we talked about copper belt products we said for copper belt province this is an icu now copper belt province this is on a death bed and we need to work on issues surrounding copper belt province and these issues ranging from upani and kesia Under the previous government we tried to diversify the economy of Copper Belt province from mining dependency to agriculture and the aquaculture. But what you are seeing today it is very disturbing. I'm a Copper Belt person. My house and other businesses are on the Copper Belt province. I'm on the Copper Belt province every week and people are suffering on the copper belt province my advice my elder brother president akainde hlema is to sit and find the lasting solution to the suffering of the people on the copper belt province if we are mining the bafola ni shikopa belt ya kwa tolpi ya mayanda ya bantu nomba mayanda ya bantu muri pensa i'm just coming from mufrira and it's a sorry sight what we experience in mufrira talk about wanja so for me my advice is to my elder brother president akainde ishema to find the lasting solution the issues surrounding copper belt province lord shedding in the past few days we have seen drama surrounding lord shedding in our country there was drama for 12 hours reduced to 6 hours in space 1 hour after our calculation we find that uh, the timings now they have increased from 12 hours to 14 hours the president told us that uh, kariba not bank is leaking i was a minister for lusaka province we interacted with other ministers in the provinces i visited kariba by the time minister mabumba was the energy minister we have never experienced leakages at kariba so it was very surprising to hear that kariba is safe the board chair for zesco came he told us the different version he told us the different version the spokesperson to the president my young brother Anta Gwaria you also came and accused the PF the brain game is over the brain game is over UPND they are on the driving seat and let them deliver to the expectation all the people of Zambia the promises which they made to the people during their time in opposition and during campaign prior to 2021 general elections we expect the upnd to operate above board let them stop this game brain thing the people of zambia gave them the mandate to preside over the affairs of this nation presiding there over the affairs of this nation the people of zambia they don't expect the upnd to continue referring to the pf pf is not in power yes 
very soon they will bounce back in power but now they are not in power we want to offer solutions or suggestions to the government of Mr. Akainle Itilema the issue to do with road change. Our suggestion number one, let the government through the Ministry of Energy, Ministry of Information to start sensitizing the people of Zambia to switch off the cookers, stove, electrical cookers and switch on gas cooking in our country. <coughs> By doing so, we'll be releasing pressure on Zesco. And we want to urge this government to recapitalize in Deni. Let them recapitalize in Deni because in Deni will help the gas cooking in our country. It's a pity that the member of parliament for Indeni, instead of supporting the recapitalizing of Indeni, was supporting the selling of Indeni. And the members of the constituency for Bonamkubwa, they are stranded now because most of them, they used to get their permanent work, jobs and uh, peace works from Indeni and other surrounding, surrounding areas. So let us switch off our electric stove to gas cooking. We also want to aid this government of Mr. Akainde Ichilema to sensitize the people of Zambia to switch off the electric geysers to solar geysers. By doing so, there will be less pressure on Zesco. The other suggestion which we want to give to this government is to push for Batoka Hydro project. Batoka Hydro project is a project or a joint venture between Zambia and Zimbabwe. And this project, if pursued to the conclusion, will see the addition of another power station to the grid. And this project is a project which was supposed to be financed in Batoka. The previous government managed to invest colossal sums of dollars in power generation, in different sources of energy. Just a few meters from where we are standing today, the new Kasama area, the MFES, the government of President Edgar Chabalungu invested in the solar farm, which was supposed to be producing not less than 650 megawatts to be added to the national grid. President Edgar Chabalungu opened up other source of energy to have been exploited in our country. If you go to Zesco today and talk to Mapan, he will tell you that thousands of contracts for investors who wanted to invest in other sources of energy has been cancelled at Zesco. And seeing the mismanagement of Zesco, which we are seeing today, we want to urge President Akainde Itrema to put Zesco in order. That house is disorganized. It's disorganized because they don't know what they are doing. If they knew what they were doing, it is suicidal to misinform the president. It is suicidal to misinform the president, to give the wrong information to the president. A president is a politician, is a head of government in the country and it relies on the information from the technocrats and if you have incompetent technocrats like the ones we are seeing at Zesco this country 
is under risk. This country is under risk. Because we, are, we, we can't have technocrats who are misinforming the head of state. And to that effect, let the president, within his powers, let them fire the board chair for Zesco and the managing director for Zesco because they have failed. They have failed the people of Zambia. President Akainde Ichirema is carrying delegated power from the people of Zambia. And when the people are disappointed, the only thing the president is supposed to do is to part ways with those people who are disappointing the masses of this great country, Zambia. So those are the suggestions which we have on road shedding. The issue, ladies and gentlemen, which we want to talk about is about region uh, issues as well. As you might be aware, we are politicians. And as politicians, we interact globally. We interact in the region. And we know what is happening as we speak. We know what is happening in the United States of America. We know what is happening in all the countries in the continent. We know because we have uh, connections in those respective countries. We want to talk about Zimbabwe, the issue of Zimbabwe. And the issue of Zimbabwe, we want to urge the people of Zimbabwe that as they go for this year's general election, let them not make a mistake of thinking Comrade Munagagwa and the ZANU PF, they are bad people, bad organization. Comrade Munagagwa and the ZANU PF, they mean well to the people of Zimbabwe. The problem which we have is the people who gave or who pressed sanctions on Zimbabwe. And to that effect, we want to urge the president, the president of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Aka Inde Ichilema, being friends to those same people, the Europeans and the Americans, they wine and dine together to talk on the people or on behalf of the people of Zimbabwe. The issue at hand is a very serious issue. When your neighbor's house is on fire, even you, you are also affected. If you recall very well, Zimbabwe used to be a food basket, not only to the people of Zambia, but to the entire region and continent at large. But today, when you go into Zimbabwe, it's a solid sign. And we want the people of Zimbabwe to make a right decision as they go for general election. The people of Kenya, they defended Africa. And we want Zimbabwe to defend Africa, to defend the region, the southern region. The person who was pressed or who wanted the, 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 the Westerners, the person they wanted to fix, is no longer with us. Comrade Gabriel Mugabe is a departed co colleague. He's a departed comrade. We want sanctions to be lifted on Zimbabwe. Zimbabweans are our brothers and sisters. We are not happy to see what has been going on in Zimbabwe. So we want to urge the people of Zimbabwe that even that uh, Chamisa uh, comrade is a good comrade, but he's being supported by wrong people. He's being supported by wrong people with wrong motives. Wrong people with wrong motives. We know our friends. Our friends, we know them. They have been with us when we needed them most. They were there. Our friends, our friends, 
it's Russia and China. The money you are seeing in Zambia is Chinese money. The money you are seeing in Zambia is Chinese money. Our friends is Russia and China. Those are our friends. We can have other friends, but we have our best friends. We have our best friends at 24 hours when we have a problem, we'll call them and they will come at 2401. Other friends, when you call them at 24 hours, they will come after 98 hours. So we need a friend who will treat our situation as emergency. Those are the friends we need. I mentioned about Batoka. The only way we are going to push for that project to fit, we want to urge our Republican president, President Akainde Ichile. We have seen him going to Dubai. We have seen him going to the America. We have seen him going to the United Kingdom. But the solutions are not there. The solutions are not in America. Zambian solutions, they are in China and Russia. We urge the president very soon, let him come up with a trip to go to Beijing. Let him go to Beijing. Our answers, the answers, they are in China and Russia. 